Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We got a win streak of five. I know we could uh, set up a save file that doesn't have the lost on it, but I'm just gonna choose to be a little lazy instead and keep randoming. And if we get the lost, I guess we'll just try to win. And then it, 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 when this streak ends and hopefully we get uh, real Platinum God before the streak ends or soon after, uh, then I'll do that. It's not even like a trick or an exploit or anything like that. I think it is working as intended. Basically, if you go to like another save file and you press Alt F2, it copies your first save file, but it gives you everything but the lost. Which is good! You know, you get all the items that you get for Platinum God. It's not its not cheating in any way, you've already unlocked the items. And then you get, uh, oh, come on, get in there. Ah, I worked, okay. And then you get real Platinum God, uh, but you can random without having to worry about getting the lost. I think that is advantageous. Advantageous, shall we say. That was an incredibly good first room for us, but we gotta be pretty, uh... Pretty confident here, we gotta play well. Um, there are some enemies that could kill us in one hit, but as long as we make it to the shop, we should be fine, because we'll be able to buy, in all likelihood, a uh, Spirit Heart, and if we buy a Spirit Heart, it's extremely unlikely that we die on this floor. And I love playing as Judas because of this Book of Belial interaction. This would help us get our streak back to a, res a respectable level. You know, we're not at 25 yet. I've been, I've been going up and down. I've been having some good times, I've been having some bad times, uh, but the, there we go. The episode 195 where I played as the Lost during the streak and, and lost like twice but then ended up winning, um, that just went up. So I'm feeling high on life, you know, thank you to everybody, well this will you know, reveal how long my backlog is, but people are always like, you know, oh I wish your backlog wasn't so long, but you'll be thinking differently when I am away for a couple of weeks in January and episodes still keep coming, that's all I'm saying. The episode, it doesn't matter if it's recorded January 1st or January 7th, it's all the same, my brain has not gotten better in the meantime, but anyway. Thank you for all the kind words on that episode. Uh, I, 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 I want no, I don't want people to be like, wow, you know, Northern Lion, you're a god at Isaac, because I'm not. I, I got a little lucky, and I played as, as well as I've ever played, and that contributed to a win. What I did want to do with that lost episode, or what I, what I want to be the take home message is, you know, I want to be nice. I want, I want to, I want to be uplifting, I want to be inspirational. You know, there's that phrase, whether you think you can do it or not, you're right. Which is like, it's something to do with the power of positive thinking, right? If you think you can do something, you're well on your way to being able to do it. You'll, you'll take the steps necessary to be able to do it. If you think you can't do something, well, you're, you've got a defeatist attitude and, well, maybe not defeatist attitude, maybe you're just being realistic, like, you know, hey, if you think you can do it, you can. If you think you can't do it, you're right. Well, I can't jump to the moon, no matter how confident about it I am. Sure, I'll take tech 0.5. I guess we will go to our shop right away as well. Um, but anyway, what I the other thing uh, I think I'll take this. It's gonna seem a little weird, but then we can blow this up. Um, the other thing is, if you're one of those people who gets the lost and you um, oh run away, you want to play as the lost, uh, but you don't want to just constantly hold R and restart the run over and over. You don't have to, man. I think we've we've made that clear. I can see forever. Well, I'm very glad about that one. I think I actually am just going to take Hive Mind uh, on the with the hope that we get some fly items at some point. For now, though, let's explore. I mean, I'm taking a little bit longer woo, than I normally do on this floor, but I am doing so. Actually, this is still pretty short, uh, but I'm doing so in order to do our due diligence. You know, so I think it's a smart idea. But yeah, you know, it proves you you definitely do not need to just consistently restart over and over as the lost. If you want to do that playstyle, by all means, you know, uh, in, enjoy yourself. I don't mean that as like, oh, yeah, enjoy yourself, asshole. I mean it like, you know, you should you should be the lost whatever way you feel is best to be the lost. Uh, but if you don't want to do that, if that doesn't appeal to you, hey, you don't have to. We have, we have showed that. But anyway, this is like 50 episodes too late for this discussion. Anyway, Book of Belial is great. I know, I still don't know the, the exact workings of Tech.5. What I do know is that some people consider it a, a very, very fantastic item, and as a result, I am more than happy to pick it up. It allows us to shoot our tears while still also being... Ooh, that's pretty good. That's not, though. It allows us to shoot our tears while still being able to, um... have a laser beam with infinite range associated with it. So I really appreciate that. I, I think that makes it better than the other tech items, which... I've had a few tech runs semi-recently, like on the stream and stuff like that, and I, I think I might just never pick up technology ever again. It's just, it's too much of a risk. As much as I like it with some synergies, it's its a little bit too much of a risk. I am going to crack this open, why not? Let's be a little silly. That would reroll everything we had. 
we're early enough. Let's let's get stupid. All right, what do we have going on here? I'm gonna pause it. We lost Book of Belial. We picked up Attack Fly, uh, Thunder Thighs, and Abel. I mean, that's not the greatest reroll. We had a really good run, and we've rerolled into something that is perhaps not so great. But you know, this is uh, some people were complaining, and they were saying, "Oh, now that Northern Lion has this streak mentality, he's not as into the absurd stuff. You know, he's not as zany as he used to be." I'm hoping to to nip that in the bud a little bit, because I can still get crazy, kids. You think your dad's not cool? I can still get down with the best of them. Do the hustle. All right, and Thunder Thighs is pretty sweet. I'm glad I took a look at the. Um, the stat screen, because I could have just easily not, and then I would never have known. Oh, Goathead, it makes up for that Book of Belial loss, basically. Uh, I think we're better off with the Rosary Bead, maybe? What is this? Lazarus's Rags. Well, after the deal with the Devil, we could kill ourselves and come back. I believe I asked about Anemia, because we had an... Or, I asked about Lazarus's Rags, because we had an interesting run where, as Lazarus, we got Lazarus's Rags and then died twice to come back. Uh, I believe it gives you a 1.2 damage modifier, so it's it's not terrible, actually, but in order to do it, I would prefer to have maybe some uh, some extra spirit hearts, but we're not going to know that because we might, well, we're going to have Curse of the Blind, so we're not going to know what any of the items are, but if we kill ourselves taking a deal with the devil, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Like, if there's a one heart, actually, if there's two two heart deals with the devil, we might not even be able to take it. I don't, look, there's a lot of contingencies going on right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it too much. I've made this run kind of zany. You know what I would really like is a, uh, a freaking speed upgrade, man. I'll probably, like, losing Book of Belial sucks. Getting Goathead makes up for it somewhat, but we still have the lower damage. And we lost Tech 0 0.5, or Tech 0 0.5, which uh, is actually an okay kind of damage modifier, I think. You know, it gives you a little bit of extra DPS, at least. I'm trying to see if maybe we can get the quarter here. Swallowed Penny versus Rosary Bead. I think we're better off with Rosary Bead. That's alright. Let's use the Chariot card against the Haunt. This is a, a very important moment on this run. This is where everything could go terribly wrong. Or terribly right. Let's put a bomb down. That was actually perfect. I, I kind of baited them into coming this direction. And then we'll crack this over. Oh, we have Midas Touch. I totally missed that. Thank you. Uh, I don't love the idea of using all of our bombs and our cherry card to fight the haunt, but we did it. Super bandage is lovely. And then in here, we get a two heart item. But no matter what it is, we're going to want it. Satanic Bible, Death's Touch, Mom's Knife, Brimstone, Little Brimstone, if that's still there, the nail. Little Brimstone. Look, some people might poo poo this. I think this is a pretty good item for us in our current situation. We could still use a speed upgrade, though. Time to, uh, you know, not time to go. We'll maybe for once say, you know, sucks to your Asmar boss trap room, and instead we'll make it into the curse room here and hopefully snag an item as a result. We are very, very slow. So that's that's another reason, you know, take some pressure off me by saying fuck the boss rush room. Because now um, we can not stress out about the fact that we're so slow right now. I'm going to try for a secret room here. Yeah, I had I had a feeling that might not be right. That's kind of disingenuous, though, to put it there and then be like, I had a feeling I might not be right. It's like, even when you're wrong, you're right. That's kind of bullshit. You should just own up to it. Well, I'm glad we went back, because we ended up earning a, a net profit of three spirit hearts. So that's good. And our bomb uh, secret room, or a secret room where we should place it, is right here then, probably. But we don't have five cents, so we're very unlikely to be able to buy a bomb from our shop. Instead, we'll move along, and if possible, I'd like to step on all these rocks just for the off chance of getting a black market. It's, it's pretty unlikely. Oh, never mind. It's the most likely thing in the world, apparently. And we will get a free question mark as a result of that, which I'm excited about. Thank you, little Brimstone. And this is uh, quite a ridiculous run thus far. And we get Mr. Boom to go along with it. Which is not incredible for us, but, uh, you know, getting a free space bar item is something that I can, I can get down with. We have a deal with the Devil Precedent now, which is fantastic. Maybe we'll get enough money. It's unlikely, but maybe we'll get enough money in this secret room to justify going to our shop. So there's so many mushrooms. We could just walk into them, but I don't I don't want to do that cuz they will explode in my face. Wow, that is just not very good. You know what? Let's do it. 
Let's try to get as many as we can at the same time. Had to happen. I can see forever for the next floor. Tears downgrade. Luck downgrade. Luck upgrade. All right, so we basically broke even, plus we got an I can see forever pill. I could use that now, but let's use it on the next floor. I like this floor. It was crazy, but I like it, you know? It's like the, you know, Sean William Scott character from, uh, from old school. You're crazy, you're crazy, but I like you. That's where we are right now. I'm, I'm happy to have a little brimstone. That'll be my primary damage dealer, at least for the, the near future. Let's pop it right away, might as well. And just keep moving along here. Uh, don't really want to step on that, unfortunately. Oh, come on. At this point, this is just getting re gosh darn ridiculous. I may actually walk over those spikes. I just don't want to do it right now. We could try to use bombs to, like, get over there. But I don't think it's very likely to work out for us. So, let's just create a bridge here because we can and see what's inside of there. More bombs. Full health. Not that incredible. To save ourselves a little bit of time... What hit me there? Oh, a creep. Where did that creep come from? Was that a champion bony that I just didn't see and he created creep? That is news to me, but anyway. I, I, we've got a very, like, competent offensive run here. There's still enemies left? Where? I could be using Mr. Boom every room to crush the mushrooms. But I'm going to stay away from that for now. Hate this room. Always end up making a mistake, but actually we got pretty lucky. Got out of that one. That is luck. You know what, Mr. Boom? Ah, uh, come on, Abel. Ya dick fucker. Come on. There we go. Traded a charge and a, and a bomb for two keys. Could have been better, obviously, but that's fine. That's my bad. I shouldn't have been firing. Why am I firing on that room, right? I can't really blame Abel. There's no reason for me to be firing on a room with no enemies in it, except to charge up. Uh, little Brimstone, which is actually a good point, but anyway. Bob's Curse. Totally acceptable. Makes Mr. Boom a little bit better. If we get PhD, I will start crushing the shit out of these mushrooms. But until then, no thank you. So damage-wise, very good. Looking for a deal with the devil and have more than enough uh, spirit heart insulation to make that a more than conceivable get for us here. I am going to check out our shop just because we got a ton of keys. And there's PhD at half price. What did I tell you? We got a luck upgrade and a luck downgrade. I'm going to blow this guy up just to see if we can simplify this, make it a little faster. All right, bunch of spiders. Not loving that, but we should really easily get another penny at some point on this run. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Little Brimstone, not quite a game winner, but very good in and of itself. Let's see what our boss has to offer. Peep. Don't jump. Don't. Oh, you dick. You are, you're joining the dick fucker category. I'm going to throw another bomb down right there. Don't mess with it, Abel. The poison bombs are like, they're, they're damaging enough to justify using them offensively, I feel. And we've got a nice little radius on our attack fly here, which helps out. I have taken, you know, a little bit more damage than I'd like. And more damage than I'd like against Peep is like one damage. But we've taken like four. So I'm not loving life right now. But he's dead, and we lived. So fudge you to him. And our Jesus use upgrade is going to be nice. And this is okay, honestly. I would... Welcome, like, growth hormones instead, because I could really use, like, a single speed upgrade. Good, lump of coal. I mean, we, we would have replaced Mr. Boom with it, but we don't have to now, so that's nice. So now we'll go on our, our merry way to get, uh, hopefully, one more cent back. Don't want to crush these mushrooms until we get PhD. It might be a little bit of a waste. The poop, though, is worth shooting. Or worth walking over. Uh, sadly, no such luck yet. But there's still, there's things we can blow up. We could even blow up our donation machine if we wanted to. Is it worth it for PhD? It's highly debatable. There we go. There's our, our penny. So we'll explore the rest of the floor, then come back, get PhD, and, and make a move. I don't know why PhD so frequently seems to be half price, but it's half price like all the damn time. Um, look, I mean, I might do that. <laughs> We'll see. So for, for stuff that I've talked about, you know, nice stuff that is like very common, sure, I would love to pick up uh, speed upgrades. We could really use them. However, for stuff that is a little bit more uncommon that could make our run amazing, any kind of invincibility with any kind of regularity. Chariot card, blank card, like co combined. Um, Book of Shadows, Unicorn Horn, or Unicorn Stump. Our secret weapon on this run is not Little Brimstone, that is our overt weapon. 
That's like we're carrying a gun, like an AK-47 in our hands. But then we got a secret weapon in our shoes. We've got like a rocket launcher or something like that. Our rocket launcher here, our shoe-based rocket launcher, is Midas Touched. Yeah, we'll take this. Midas Touch is a... Uh it's amazing with an item like Unicorn Stump. Basically, the more orbitals you have, the closer you come to winning the game just as a result of that one item. It's that good. But it's one of the items, and I like this a lot, but it's one of the items in the game whose usefulness is most defined by synergy. It's like Tiny Planet. You know, Tiny Planet by itself, uh, fairly awful, I could even say, even though I usually take it just because it's ridiculous. Uh, but in conjunction with other items, Tiny Planet can be one of the greatest items of the game. Luck down. Uh, it, what I'm thinking is if there's a bad pill, we might as well carry it into our shop anyway, right? Full health. Okay, so we'll, we'll take our bad pill here. And by getting a huge luck upgrade, like if, if these luck downgrades become luck upgrades, the more of those we have, the more likely we are to find an item like Magic Mushroom in the mushrooms. So that's why I'm going to be totally okay with taking damage, blowing up these mushrooms. There also might be a Spirit Heart I can pick up. We'll need one more scent, though. Yeah, we'll probably not get it, actually. Alright, so that became a luck upgrade. Balls of steel, maybe? Paralysis? That is not a good pill. I don't care what your your definition is. Uh, on some rooms, like this secret room down here, because we have nine bombs, and I know we have Mr. Boom, but because we have nine bombs, I'm just going to use a bomb here instead of uh, taking the damage ourselves. So we get another luck upgrade, followed by another luck upgrade. We still have... Why do I even pick up paralysis? Like, it's not getting any better at this point. Nothing on that one. Liberty Cap, and I Can See Forever. So we can take I Can See Forever to the next floor. It is, um, it's absolutely conceivable that I totally fuck myself over by doing this. But I also think the potential upside is so great. Telepills. Mm, it's good for, like, boss rush stuff, but I'm not going to be worried too much about boss rush stuff. Probably. So we got one more room that's got a decent amount of mushrooms here. I still think it's it's great that we got the luck upgrades and the tears upgrade. Hmm. Okay. I'm content with this. We're going to move onwards. I did sacrifice a lot. Ugh. Like a lot, a lot. Just to be safe. Cool. That would have that would have hurt me, so I feel okay about that. Um, yeah, we, we sacrificed a decent amount there, but I'm, I'm not really that worried about our HP. Like, our HP is still relatively fine. Two. I mean, it's not that great, but, you know, we have, we have Maggie's Faith. As much as I like uh, Liberty Cap, Maggie's Faith a little bit more useful for us. We've made ourselves stronger as a result of the, the tiers upgrade. We should take I Can See Forever. Especially on a floor, nice. Especially on a floor where I will not be able to see where I'm going. It seems like a very smart idea. Alright, I'm I'm liking it. I think this floor should give us a deal with the devil unless something goes terribly, terribly wrong. And as a result... We, uh, yeah, again, we have Lazarus's rags, so this might be, like, our last conceivable, like, good opportunity to kill myself and get away with it. I'm gonna keep Mr. Boom just for the, the off chance we run into the boss soon. Absolutely, I will trade one bomb for a luck upgrade any day of the week. Is that another, t uh, that's full health. Okay, well, we might as well take it. Alright, we only have one bomb left, so we got to be a little cautious about that. Maybe start using Mr. Boom. It does charge once every other room. It's probably smarter to just use Mr. Boom right away. And I'm being a little bit thick-headed here, but that's okay. Oh, okay. The Mind. So what the Mind does, I, I remembered it as soon as I stopped recording that one video recently where I got the Mind. It shows you where all the secret rooms are, uh, including the second secret room, if you can at least see the map. So it would be nice if we can get, like, Black Candle, just to make the Mind even better. But uh, this, this is still awesome. This broken stopwatch... And a Spirit Heart and Steam Sale. We've been buying a lot. Might be good to buy the Steam Sale. I like Broken Stopwatch. Who doesn't? Um, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I was hoping that'd be a guppy item. Maybe make my decision of what to do after this boss a little bit easier. But let's see. It's Carrion Queen. Carrion Queen. Baby. Sorry, I got, I've got the wrong song again. That's, the, that's Mississippi Queen when I should be doing Carrion Queen. Now we're sharing the same dream. I'm not much of a singer, and, and Billy Ocean is, that's, he's a talented individual. It's hard for me to, you know, to, to, I was going to say rectify. It's hard for me to stand up to the, the quality that he stands for himself. Rectify is not even the right word that, that I'm looking for there. I think Abel got a kill. That is a new one for me. 
We got Pentagram for free, which is amazing, and then Guppy's Head, which we will totally pick up as well. Now, Guppy's Head or Mr. Boom? Mr. Boom's pretty good for us, especially with Poison Bombs, uh, but I think we gotta be better served by uh, Guppy's Head. Yes, it takes us a little closer to becoming Guppy as well. Our damage is decent, so these three Guppy Flies will do a decent amount of damage, and I, let's be honest, I wasn't using Mr. Boom as effectively as I probably should have been anyway. So for me, I think this is a better choice. So we'll be looking for stuff to crush. We're looking for our other uh, secret room. The luck upgrades are out of control. I would step on all the mushrooms. I think our odds of getting magic mushroom are fantastic now. And this is uh, like the luck stat, I think, let's assume that I'm right about the fact that it works to find magic mushroom or just a payout from mushrooms at all. Um, but additionally, it's going to be better for the skulls. I'd say we have a better than average chance of getting dry baby on this run. And then, you know, if we got a better than average chance of getting dry baby, we got a better than average chance of getting maybe like blood clots and stuff like that if I head down to the next floor. That's nor normally you wouldn't be so psyched about getting blood clots, but in this case, it's pretty good for us, but I don't want to step on the stuff to make it happen. Because it will hurt me. Probably with as much regularity as the mushrooms, if not more. So again, this is a very different Isaac run for me. I'm doing my due diligence for once. Now that we have 15 cents, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be smart about it. We're probably going to end up fighting greed in one of our remaining shops, if not more than one of our remaining shops. Not really that interested in Wiggle Worm, sorry. Uh, so if we buy a Steam Sale, we're not really going to assume... Yeah, that's pretty good. Especially with, um, with Midas Touch, that's good. You know what, let's just do this. We're not really going to assume that it's going to give us too much financial gain. But if we're going to buy two things from the shop, if we had the money for that, we might as well buy a Steam Sale. Not very many mushrooms on this run. On this floor, I should say. And, like, our fifth luck upgrade since buying PhD. So I'm loving that to an absurd degree. Not all of these rocks. Like, I, I think rocks that are, like, adjacent to walls can't give us... Or adjacent to gaps can't give us uh, black markets, which is why I'm not so concerned about knocking them over. Three cents puts us in the position where we could buy, like, a battery. I guess I'll use the rules card in case we get a good seed. Chubb dislikes smoke. What am I talking about in case we get a good seed? Of course Chubb dislikes smoke. I think we've still got maybe a little bit more left to explore here. Very, very slow run relative to the way I normally like to play. Oh, a boss rush room. Normally, uh, probably wouldn't be that excited about a boss rush room. And in hindsight, I definitely should not be so excited about this boss rush room. But here we are. Not doing a stupidly bad amount of damage. We're actually doing alright here. And since I can damage him from afar, I, I don't want to waste our flies on it. You know, we can we can waste our flies on Mega Ma here. Stay out of the okay. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I have been suffering a little bit in the HP form, but you know, I traded it away this time, so I can't really complain. I guess. How is there still so much of this floor that I haven't discovered? All right, that's a uh, full health. Yeah, you know what? Let's play this guy instead of buying Steam Sale. I like the chances of maybe getting an HP upgrade or something here instead. We're low enough on HP that I think HP could matter. Ah, blue map. So that's like effectively worthless for us because we have uh, the mind. Oh, it's another luck upgrade, not full health. Our luck stat has got to be out of control. So I did not think that we would have another room here. Um, so what would I like now? I would absolutely love... Come on. I would absolutely love if we could get Tough Love. Yeah, Tough Love might be one of the best things that we could get. Because it would just be ridiculous, right? Like, we would we would have almost 100% chance to get a tooth on every shot. Uh, I remember in vanilla, it was like nine luck upgrades made it so Tough Love always paid out with a tooth. I'm going to say no to the Steam Sale, and instead just yes to Broken Stopwatch. Which is going to be dangerous on some occasions, but... Probably better than average, and it was cheap. Necropolis won, so we can see everything. Maybe Blue Map wasn't worthless. But it might be the mind that allows us to see everything as well. Not 100% sure about that. So on this floor, we're going to be cracking a ton of skulls, and that's why... Oh, I'm so slow! 
That's why I haven't been that worried about HP. With our luck stat very, very high, I would expect that, you know, these skulls are going to have a very good chance to pay out with good spirit hearts, which might make, um, blank card amazing. Sorry, not spirit hearts, black hearts, and not even black hearts tarot cards is what I was trying to say. Um, well, thank God we got shoop to whoop. But, yeah, with, um, a better than average chance for payouts from skulls, I think, okay, <laughs> um, Blank card might become amazing. And also, I assume that we'll just get a lot of black cards, and by getting these black cards, um, we'll uh, augment our HP fantastically, although it's not going to last. Empress. Empress is a good, you know, good enough to use on this mob trap room. Yeah, let's pop it. Okay, so that's our magic mushroom pickup right there, minus the other stats upgrades. The extra damage uh, from Cricket's Head is going to make our flies amazing. More than that, it's going to make our tears amazing. I love it. I appreciate that more than you could ever know. Oh, thanks, Abel. Should be one more, maybe even two more. Okay. And I appreciate the uh, broken stopwatch working on this one as well. I think this run, like, Cricket's Head, it's just a reskin Max's Head, but it's one of the best items in the game still. It seems to show up a little bit more often than Max's Head did, at least for me, and I uh, I am very grateful for that working out well. Oh, you know what? I was like, why? We must not be able to get into that secret room from the, the special room with Envy. But the reason that it didn't work is because I'm so used to having I Can See Forever. But we don't have I Can See Forever. We have Blue Map and the Mine, which allows us to see the secret rooms. Got it. Guppy items. Or is, I'll take the Spirit Hearts, but Guppy items, please. With our luck up, I don't mind spending another bomb here. I don't know if that actually affected it, but hey, maybe the placebo effect is uh, hard at work here. Easy room, easy life. No more skulls, which is a little bit disappointing for me. Also, I can't believe we haven't gotten a single speed upgrade ever since we re-rolled our whole run. Like, not even with the PhD. You'd expect that that would happen. Oh well, though. Like a sincere oh well, because we're still in a really good position here. The Gaz rune. Uh, purges our curse, also gives us a spirit heart. I'll pop it right away, because I'd love to save the Algiz rune. This pretty much saved that, that lost run from episode 195. So I will always have a, a soft spot for that rune. Not, I, always, I always thought it was pretty good, but it really saved our ass. Piggy Bank. Uh, there are, there's some great stuff to say about Piggy Bank, but I think I'm just going to buy the pill instead, and I immediately regret that. Um, Piggy Bank this late in a run, and without something like Bloody Penny. Of course, we could get Bloody Penny later, but um, it, it doesn't really excite the senses, you know? It doesn't make me feel doesn't make me feel like a natural woman right now. So I'm not that into that item. Joker? Two of hearts. I almost stepped on the bomb, even as I was like, don't step on the bomb. Well, it's like two of the identical pills there. We got a long uh, way to go on this floor as of yet, still. I don't think I've been using Guppy's Head on every room. It's a big mistake. Guppy's Head is a potential... It's either a, a like a C-tier item or an S-tier item, depending on your damage. That was real dingle, and we just crapped on him. All right, this is Necropolis 1. Again, oh, there's a nickel up there. So it's going to be a slow run. And a speed uh, stat as low as we have right now is not going to make the adversary crazy easy, but I think maybe the adversary is one of those bosses, now that I think about it, it's probably best to stand like right next to them, because then you can get further away from their brimstone shot more easily. We will, wow, they really popped out of there, huh? I guess we have a fast room here. I will totally take Dark Matter for the Fear Shot plus the extra damage. I actually, I, I borderline think that Fear Shot is a bad thing sometimes. It depends on the boss you're fighting. If the boss, like, teleports and does stuff like that that's otherwise normally predictable. Uh, yes. I think it's a little bit uh, not so amazing all the time. But the the damage upgrade from Dark Matter makes up for it. If it is a negative, it's it's a minor negative. So we could... Oh, careful here. We could fairly easily buy the piggy bank. I didn't even crack these skulls. What is wrong with me? The Fool card. A little too little too late for me to make that work on Boss Rush. Yes, we will take the Perthrow rune with us. The only, um, we have Goathead, so we can actually use Perthrow to reroll Missing Page 2, which might be the best way to handle it. But we may just reroll our, um, our item room item as well. I'm not handling this room as, as well as I would like, but, so, okay. We are one-shotting these guys if this one would ever pop up. 
How is this run simultaneously so powerful and yet so goddamn slow? That's what I want to know here. Any uh, Tinted Rock located in here? Or not Tinted, well yeah, Tinted Rock, but also um, I was looking for black markets. This room is faster than normal, but that is some real money for us there. We could also reroll the shop, which might not be the worst idea considering I don't really want the piggy bank. Something like Mom's Key could be very nice for me. What are you doing, Abel? And by Abel, I mean me. We got uh, one of our bombs back, at least. And our finances are fantastic. I don't mind using a key to open up our item room. We're doing very well in that respect. Nope. I'm gonna per throw it. Yeah, and I actually appreciate this. I know we could have rerolled our devil item instead, but Dead Onion, our, our shot speed, and as a result of that, our range are gonna be piss poor. But we have piercing shots now, and our damage is great. So I think that's a, a pretty good reroll. Could be better, could be worse. For now, though, uh, I guess... I mean, why not pick up the piggy bank in this situation? We're not going to... Eh, we might buy two items from our next shop, but the odds of us fighting greed are, are very high. Do we want this card? No, that card is meaningless. Okay. I would love some shot speed upgrades. I would love some range upgrades. I would love some speed upgrades. There are so many items that fulfill all of those criteria. I'll buy it. With the, the piggy bank and the amount of damage that I'll likely take, presumably I'll be able to buy two items from my next shop anyway, if it's not greed. But it's gonna be greed. A little bit of a hot in sync reference there for uh, you Gen Zers out there. I've read millennials, sorry, that's what I'm going for. All right. Myself included. Of course. Necropolis 2. Again, the slowest run on record continues, but the damage is genuine. We're doing some real work on these guys. Uh, you know what would actually be awesome now that we have piercing shots or penetrative tears, if you're new to the game and didn't play much vanilla? Uh, what would be amazing is shielded tears, because I do have to get up close and personal to hit enemies as a result of the fact that our range is just god awful. Um, or pretty bad at least. So it would be nice if I could pick up uh, shielded tears. So as I got close to enemies, they still uh, they still couldn't really hurt me. Well, they could hurt me, but they can't really hit me. I was hoping for a demon judgment. I can't really justify losing our eternal heart to play that blood bank for the chance to win one HP. And it's a fairly minute chance anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. Health up. Full health, there you go. What is this one? Tears? Balls of steel? Oh, well worth it, okay. And we'll take our Algiz rune with us. We gotta be crushing those mushrooms just for the, the chance to get magic mushroom. I appreciate it, that should not take care of them at all, apparently, is what I was gonna say there. And our luck stat is really, it's giving us like, almost a guaranteed chance of having a consumable every time we finish the room, it feels like. FEELS LIKE! This is probably the highest percentage chance of getting a black market that we've had recently. Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but that's all right. Shit happens. This room is full of skulls. I like it a lot. Probably two flies is enough to kill these guys. Remember, we have Midas Touch, so if an enemy, you know, dares to get in my field of view, that's very bad news for them. If I could just, like, if I could know where you are so I could use Little Brimstone, that would be nice. Fly, 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 fly. Oh, that's my attack fly, no wonder. <laughs> it's like, this fly is awful AI. Uh, there was not a consumable that dropped there by my ears. This side of the room is all done. Uh, very excited for the potentiality of finding something sweet on this item room. Our last item room turned out pretty good. I definitely did not want to take Dr. Fetus. That's just universally true now, I think. Really doubt we'd find uh, something special here, but if we're already past the point where we are going to be able to go to our uh, boss rush room, then who cares about how long I take crushing rocks, right? I don't think it matters in the least. Every extra, like, second that I take is meaningless now. I don't mind it. Okie dokie. We've been, no, we have not been to our shop, okay. I did leave a rock back there. Abel was pointing it out. He's like, yo, bro, you left a rock. Yo, bro, you're leaving that penny on the ground. I don't care. Can't bomb our way into this uh, 
Mm, boss trap room. Yeah, I'll be absolutely content to take odd mushroom. Our red hearts are getting a little out of control. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. This is a big one here, our shop. We, we already fought a mini boss, right? So we shouldn't be able to fight greed. That's a free ability to fly, plus it completes our eternal heart. I could go back and play those uh, that blood bank if I wanted to. Okay, you know what? Let's buy this. Buy this. Is this a luck up? I'll take it, even if it's meaningless now. And I think I will get a little baggy. Because it turns all tarot cards into runes. And now I've realized that that was a terrible decision. But we do have two balls of steel pills going along with us now. Which is pretty nice. So I, I gave up all opportunities. That's another luck upgrade there. I gave up all opportunities for runes. In the game. Which is going to rub some people the wrong way. And rightfully so. Uh, that being said, in doing so, I did get two balls of steel pills. And we have PhD, so we're going to know what our pills are. And they're all going to be at least good. We know there's full health. We know there's balls of steel. Uh, so we should be in a pretty good situation in that regard. There's full health pills waiting for us on this floor if we want to go back for them. And also, we can buy whatever we want forever. But for now, let's just make our way back here. Full health might even be like right here. No, that's paralysis. So we just went to 69 cents, which is, of course, the uh, perfect number. Let's see what this boss trap room entails. Entails, woohoo. Tears upgrade is worth it. We kind of like accidentally beat this room, so I don't mind it too much. Yes, that's a little cocky. Judas Tongue. At this point, I think Judas Tongue might be a little bit better. I don't think we need any extra HP. You know, we already have like two balls of steel is great. Uh, what, what is wrong with me? My brain is broken. We got some money out of it though. So I'm going to come back here and take our... Uh, Full health pill. I have no interest whatsoever, though, in uh, playing more of the blood banks. Again, I think our HP is good. What could I want financially? Financially, we're in such a good position. Uh, and the blood bag doesn't give you a speed upgrade anymore. So any impetus I had for that is gone. The Judas's tongue pickup is probably semi-helpful. Like, our HP is good enough that it doesn't really matter if we traded two or one away. But it is what it is. There's a tinted rock right there. Okay, that's that's funny. Only wanted a half spirit heart there. And we'll just leave. Alright, Mom. I'm thinking this is probably a pretty bad day to be you. Maybe our range isn't negatively affected by the shot speed. Or maybe it's even like a shot shortening. Like maybe it's less tall. The shot height stat goes down with Dead Onion. It feels like the shots stay in the air for less time though. We did get a deal with the devil. The spirit hearts are out of control. We're going to try to go to the chest to get the, the D100. And yeah, we'll take contract from below, no doubt. All right, time to go. Now we do have a we have blue map and the mind. That should like illuminate everything on the on the floor and it does. So we know exactly where to go in order to get to our boss room as quickly as possible, which is great. This is a, without a doubt a one run. The only question is, you know, what kind of what's it going to look like? What is this wind going to look like? That is an, yet another balls of steel pill. Um, we're at the point where we can actually kill ourselves and then come back with nearly full health as a result of Lazarus's rags plus six spirit arts. You know, I think there might actually be some secret room items we've never gotten. I'm still a little bit in the dark over items that we might be missing. So, sure, one bomb for two keys is just a good trade regardless. I'm happy with it. We could get by actually crushing some of these special rocks here. I'm not necessarily glad we rerolled this run, but like it worked out fine. I do miss the extra damage from Book of Belial, but whatever. Hopefully we'll be able to become become Guppy here and just that'll be the end. Full health, health up, mm, luck up, and then two balls of no two tears upgrades. Uh, it's well worth it, but I'm not gonna take any more HP up because I want to make sure we can actually use these balls of steel pills as effectively as possible. The tears upgrades are nice though. Teratoma. Oh, this is like the ideal boss fight for this build. Penetrative Tears will make very short work of you. And let's see what we've got in here. Just a bunch of these. But could be Guppy or Pandora's Box, which here... You know what? Let's get rid of Guppy's head and have some fun. If we use it here, we'll get like one boss item. If we use it on the next floor, I think we get two boss items. Or maybe we get one on the left. I used Pandora's Box by accident, but I feel like the greatest man of all time. It gave me a pill, and then I got confused, so I was like, oh, just use... doesn't matter. 
I shouldn't have taken the HP upgrade, but the, the magic mushroom pickup is amazing. And then we should have gone back for Guppy's head. Here we go. Northern Lion's an idiot. I forgot Guppy's head. It's not going to matter at all, but that is a stupid play on my part. But it's like the best kind of stupid play because it's a stupid play where we also got magic mushroom. Which is yet another uh, 1.5 times damage modifier, so I'm not feeling too sad about it. This is slow, though. We are like, like this is not glass cannon. This is like, you know, mobile armor division. Super slow, super powerful, but the the outcome is relatively set in stone, I'd say. You are not dead yet, but you will be. Uh, excuse me? I did not see you there. So we're about five or six rooms away from our uh, mom's heart boss fight. It would be nice to get like an Emperor card, but now that I think about it, that's actually completely impossible as a result of the fact that we have little Baggy. So I'm really hoping for some good synergies, but above all else, you know what would absolve this run from any kind of like ONL, you're an idiot type stuff? Is if we could just get the gosh darn Godhead, not Godhead, D100. We've already gotten Godhead. We could have gotten Godhead. What I was hoping for was actually taking Pandora's box up to uh, the Cathedral. If you use Pandora's box in the Cathedral, you get a deal with the Angel item. However, that could that could give us Godhead, could give us the soul, could give us the body, I think. Could give us Sacred Heart, or it could give us Holy Water, or something that we just equally don't need, like Scapular, or, you know, Holy Grail, something like that. So I'm actually very happy that we ended up picking up Magic Mushroom. Uh, that's that's probably better than we would have done, statistically. But on, as an outlier, we could have done better. Plus, I lost Guppy's head, which is just dumb. But anyway, easy fight, not the fastest we've ever had, but that's okay. We'll be heading up to the Cathedral, and this run is a foregone conclusion at this point, which makes me very happy. We'll keep our streak alive, and it was never really in danger. Like, I don't even know if we've taken red heart damage over the entire course of this run. That could ch In fact, I would, su I would suspect that that will change by the end of this. We don't have that many spirit hearts. I, I could see us getting hit more than six times over the remainder of the run, if only because our speed is absolutely awful and never gets better, apparently. But uh, the, the win is pretty much in the bag. You know, broken stopwatch helps. That is not very smart of me. Broken stopwatch helps. Little brimstone still helps. There's a spirit heart for us. Yeah, the, the balls of steel pills that we picked up, you know, those help. We can't even pick up that spirit heart. I should not have used our balls of steel pill, but we'll check out this curse room. Hopefully, all we can hope for on this run from an entertainment standpoint is either that I get struck by some incredible divine intervention that makes me funny for once, or we pick up uh, some sweet synergies that I've rarely seen before. Wow, lucky me. Whoa, yes. Normally, I might be a little nervous about this. However, I love the, the increased chance to become Guppy. I know there's another spirit heart back there. And honestly, we probably are at a point where if we take nine lives, all we have to do is, you know, get to the boss, and we could conceivably win once without taking any damage. So there is that. You, I uh, can't help but notice, are not slow right now. Thanks a lot, Broken Stopwatch. I know what people are saying. Because I, I, the reason I say I know what people are saying, fuck you, Northern Lion, you don't know me. No, I, I, I watch Twitch chat when I have a run like this on Twitch, which happens all the time. People go, GG, he threw. Why'd you take nine lives, you idiot? I'm trying to have a little fun with the situation. Throw some uncertainty into it, you know? A little a little bravado, if you will. And I don't I don't think there's a very realistic chance that we become Guppy. No. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. I don't think there's a very realistic chance we become Guppy, as long as we don't have the left hand. But, whatever. I am going to go back for the Spirit Arc, because now I'm a little nervous. But, you know, don't, don't be salty that I make some... Dumb plays. Sometimes those dumb plays are actually intentional just to just to mess with the formula a little bit. And plus, I, I have to take nine lives every time it shows up just to defend its honor from Nick, who told me he thinks nine lives is a bad item. Because if you die, then you have to come back nine times. That's the reason it's good, man. Well, one of the reasons it's good. Curse of the Lost. So we have no idea where we're going. Sacrificial Dagger is good. Crystal Ball will help. Game Kid is actually... Game Kid would be good if we didn't get Book of Shadows, which is better because we have Midas Touch, so we will use Book of Shadows on the regular here. Like on this room, for example. We'll keep firing, but also we turn enemies into gold when we touch them. Don't we? 
Why does this not seem to be working as well as I thought? Maybe we can't use Book of Shadows to do it? No, because you can use Unicorn Stump to do it. You should be able to use Book of Shadows to do it. Anyway, with Book of Shadows, if we have a Book of Shadows charge for our boss fight, I think we're we're set decently. Now, we have an incredibly high luck stat, so even though our items were not maybe that incredible, ex expect some uh, chest drops here. Why am I not taking uh, Crystal Ball with me? Well, I mean, those are the two items. You would take either Crystal Ball or Book of Shadows. I'm going to choose to go with Book of Shadows. You may, uh, you may disagree. What did I tell you? That's not a guppy item. But I appreciate that there was a red chest there. You know, it's the thought that counts to some extent. Sometimes. Actually, in this case, it's not the thought that counts. It's specifically the execution and the execution only, but... I'll, I'll survive. Okay, kill. Oh, we do, we totally do have minus touch. Maybe it just doesn't work on that mini boss for some reason. Such awful, awful damage. A pill. Right. I can see forever. I mean, I kind of like it. Ah, this is what I was waiting for. Is I'm like, I'm going to use Book of Shadows on a room where the broken stopwatch stabs me in the back. That would be this room. I'm so slow that the fear shot... This is what I get for saying fear shot sucks because it's actually extremely helpful here. The bombs help too. Okay, here we go. Peeper's Eye. Blank card. Uh, unfortunately, I got rid of that. I got rid of all uh, card spawning opportunities. So, blank card, we won't have cards or runes, unfortunately. Makes me look like kind of a maroon right now, doesn't it? But, oh well. It is what it is. Don't lose all your HP on this room. You know, try to keep, like, some semblance of, uh, of yourself alive here. They're both so close to death. Which means I mishandled it, but that's okay. Double chest. Spelunker's hat. Remote detonator. Pretty bad. There's our second secret room. No balls of steel pills, which I, I dislike. There's a tears up. There's a health up, full health, luck up. Okay, we'll take the luck ups. I guess we take health up, full health with us. And maybe we can use that in case we die to give ourselves uh, two. Oh, get it. Oh, that's not a door. Okay. Maybe we can use that if we die to give ourselves two HP on one run. Or four HP plus Book of Shadows the next time we fight the boss. Either way, like, this run might look suspect, but it's a win. Well, Northern Lion's gonna win, whether he wants to or not. We're in a pretty good spot. Any extra doors here that I missed? Uh, yes, okay. Easy room. Only using Book of Shadows on rooms where the stopwatch backfires, just so we can have a very good chance to have it for the boss fight. Mr. Mega is fine. We can start thinking about using Remote Detonator in a clever way, but as confident as I am in the run, I'm not that confident. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to get too cocky about it. It's all right. Chests here. I can feel it. All right. By here, I meant like somewhere on the chest. We're gonna get more chests, definitely. We we should use the Game Kid once. Like I have no excuse not to use the Game Kid once. Except laziness. But laziness, people always go, oh, laziness is no excuse. Laziness is like a pretty damn good excuse in a lot of situations. It's a motivating factor for a majority of humans, I'd say. I just pulled that statistic out of my asshole, but you get the idea. That's not guppy, but the spirit heart is nice. As is money equals power. Good lord. That's like four, uh, yeah, like four damage up right now. I can't even get magic mush anymore. Mr. Meg is making it very easy to crush these, though. Luck up. Full health and health up again. And telepills. Uh, I think we want full health, health up. Actually, why don't we use health up and then full health? I shouldn't have used full health there, actually. My thinking was we would take a full health pill in with us, but I should have taken that red heart. Two full health pills would have been better. Of course. This is a run that I would I would rather use Book of Shadows here, but we've come so far that it's not necessary. Got to be finding our boss fight soon. Broken stopwatch worked out very well for me on this one. And you will be deceased as well. Two chests. Isaac's Heart and Lemon Mishap. How about no? <laughs> I'm going to skip both of those. Isaac's Heart is one of the very few items that I think would actually compromise my ability to win right now. And uh, Lemon Mishap is just not very good. Steam Sale. Making me pay for not pick up, picking up the Steam Sale earlier, I guess. I realize, you know, very inefficient use of our um, 
Book of Shadows here, but we only need to do one room with it. Sad Onion. Daddy Long Legs. This is the greatest chest we've had thus far, for sure. Rate of Fire is going to be through the roof. Daddy Long Legs is Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs is Daddy Long Legs this summer. Two more? Yeah, I, I like Butt Bombs. I'll say it. And I like Smart Fly. Another uh, very easy room as a result of Broken Stopwatch. I don't know if I've ever had a run that has been longer and yet not nearly, like, dangerous ever. This run has just been consistently easy, but very, very time-consuming. Monstro's Lung, I'll tell you what, I'll take it, and that's Pisces, right? Yeah, I've been getting it so confused. So we will take Monstro's Lung. And the shots are ridiculous. Yeah, this is over. Very, very quickly. I appreciate it. Good run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.